Fraud Squad, what's good, man? It's your boy JR here, back with another video. Hope everybody's having a good day. Without further ado, man, I'm going on to get into the reason for this video, and that is just simply to give you all an update on my car. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was in an accident. Uh, guy in a Nissan Maxima was trying to keep up with us wasn't paying attention and almost hit me in the back but he swerved off and his back end kind of slid into my back end and uh, so now it's in the shop man and it's getting repaired was not totaled out thank God for that you know what I'm saying so but it's still a headache but anyway so I uh, talked to the body shop today and uh, which I, I gotta give a shout out you know what I'm saying to Ren's body shop here in Douglasville as far, as far as I know, you know what I'm saying, the updates. They do call every two days and give me an update about what process the car is in. Uh, they did tell me, um, because of insurance purposes, let me see if I can get y'all back. Because of insurance purposes, they can't allow me to come in and, I guess, video, you know what I'm saying, the progress as far as the, uh, or the process of repairing it and whatnot. But um, they have been giving me updates. So as of today, as of today, uh, which today is Tuesday, um, basically it's in the pro it's in the paint paint position now. So um, from what I can tell, they've got the parts, uh, the new parts in, which is the bumper and the quarter panel, and whatnot. Um, and now it's in the paint. Now it's in the process of painting. So uh, that's before they put them back on the car, of course. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it man. I mean it's going back in for paint and she gonna come out good as new. Now what I did make a point to ask and I want to shout out, you know what I'm saying, to y'all man for reminding me about all this is because it was the tail end as far as uh, like the things that I've done to it. So if you follow my channel for a minute, if you've been with me from the, from the jump, you know that I had like side marker tint um, added on to like my tail light. Uh, my side marker lights, you know what I'm saying, and the bumper um, reflector lights as well. So they said that basically anything that was, they only replaced the things that were damaged. So uh, from what I could tell, none of the actual lights were damaged, except for my tail light. There is a chip on the tail light, which I did point that out to them as well. Uh, so that will be replaced. Um, so as far as my, my tent and all that stuff, you know, my side markers and stuff, that should uh, still be where it is. Now, if the, if the tail light, that middle section um, that I had tinted is not up there, I'm probably honestly not even going to trip too much about that. I mean, I have other, you know, I got replacements, replacement tent for that too. So I'll be, um, you know, if, if it need be, you know what I'm saying, I'll, I'll put that back on there. I mean, it's just a little sticker, you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, man, the car is uh, in the process of being fixed and they're doing it pretty fast in my opinion. From what they're telling me, the estimated time of completion should be around next Wednesday, around the 21st or the 22nd. Um, I'm not rushing it by any means, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on. And also, I'm just going to go ahead on and show you guys the, uh, man, my focus is split right now because I am driving and videoing and I should not be doing this. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to go ahead on and cut to this next clip, man, so you all can see this unboxing of the Z01 add-ons wicker bill that we got. Because as soon as I get my car back, that thing is going on and the show must go on, people. All right, so I'll holler at y'all in the next clip. Swipe. All right, so this is everything right here, man. This is the wicker bill, the other piece that goes on. I didn't realize that this piece was this, actually this tinted, this dark. So, you know, this is how everything's gonna go on. I think it's gonna add a nice aesthetic to the car. I do like the fact they have the camera cut out right here. Kind of wish they could have cut it out right here, but you know we'll see how it looks and everything. Just shouldn't hurt visibility too much. Uh, and these are the screws that came with it. Now these screws are the. I feel like these are the basic screws. Um, what I wanted to do was order a different set, but they were sold out at the time. The 
uh, stealth hardware. Um, it's more of an upgraded, upgraded type. I thought I thought I had ordered them, but I guess I didn't. Um, the ones I wanted were black, and they look a lot better than these. So um, since I don't have my car right now, I probably will go back online to see if they have them. Hopefully they do order them, and then hopefully it'll be back. You know what I'm saying? By the time that the car is done. But um, this is the with the bill. If you look here at the corner, the edges are polished. So, um, you know, it just gives it a smoother look, a smoother edge or whatnot. Um, but it's not really a whole lot, man, to show you as far as this worker bill is concerned. I'm just ready to get the damn car back and continue with the progress, you feel me? Uh, but that's pretty much everything, man, as far as the worker bill is concerned. Uh, one thing I did want to say, so you saw my boy Keith's car. Uh, he has the, the Dodge hash marks over here on his um, worker bill, which I thought was a really nice touch. Y'all let me know if I should do the same. I mean, or I don't know, maybe instead of making them red, make them white, I'll put a uh, clip right here just to show you what his look like again. Y'all let me know if I should do something different as far as that's concerned too. You know, just to make mine stand out a little bit more, just to be a little bit different, different than the rest. But anyway, man, other than that, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to do this little unboxing for you. Uh, there's nothing else, nothing else in here. Okay, well, hold up. You got a troll sticker here. So yeah, you can uh, do what you will with that if you want. I Me, mean, I won't be using any stickers or anything like that. I got too many on my car as it is. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. If this is your first time at the channel, man, go on and hit the like button, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, give me some feedback. Uh, if you got any questions about the repair that's going on at Riz Body Shop right now, let me know and I'll answer as best as possible. Um, uh, well, as far as the price is concerned, like I said, I used uh, Workplay Drive's uh, discount code. So it gave me like 10 bucks off. So shout out to Workplay Drive for that. Um, so it came to a total, after shipping and everything, came to a total about 226.20. I'll holla at y'all in the next one. Y'all make sure y'all be safe out here in these streets. It's JR, JRT Productions. I'm out. Peace.